Good morning, uh, Lester Memorial, United Methodist Church family, uh, Pastor Harvey Beck. If you're joining us by live stream for the first time, uh, you're live streaming at Lester Memorial, and we're in Oneonta, Alabama. We're glad to have you joining us this morning as we share devotion, and I want to share just a couple of announcements to our folks here at Lester Memorial. If you have not heard, many of you know that uh, James Bryson passed away, so we want to remember Marcina, his wife, and their family. Um, Right now, they will probably have just a immediate family service, a private service only because of the coronavirus and so forth. And then later in the summer, the plans are to have a, a larger memorial celebration for James Lye. But anyway, he passed away yesterday morning on Tuesday, uh, May the 19th. So please remember them. Uh, we will continue to live stream our services on Sunday, uh, and we will continue to listen for what the state authorities and medical folks say, as well as... Uh, our bishop, and our uh, cabinet for the North Alabama Conference. But as of right now, we'll continue this Sunday, next Sunday, and probably into June, a couple of Sundays, uh, before we uh, begin to make decisions and work our way through getting back to in-place worship services on Sunday. Over the next, starting in June, uh, part of our children and youth already are starting to have small, small groups. Some of our prayer groups and prayer teams are already starting to get back trying to use precautions. But anyway, that's kind of the tentative plan right now. So for the next several Sundays, we'll continue to live stream our services at 8.30 and 11 o'clock on Sunday morning. The devotion I want to share with you this morning, I want to begin by reading this scripture out of uh, Psalms 121. It says that I will lift up my eyes into the hills. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. And then he asks a question from whence comes my help? And then he answers it in verse 2. Some of you know this verse. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and who made earth. I want to share a picture with you of me and my grandson, uh, Favor. You'll notice that he and I are wearing Braves uh, baseball shirts. And uh, I miss baseball right now. Normally this time of the year, we're all watching some baseball, if you like it, like I do. I was a catcher and uh, loved baseball, played it at Oil High School and et cetera. But um, I miss baseball, and a lot of times I'll go to um, some of the college baseball games. In fact, this coming week is Memorial Day weekend. It's also when they would host the SEC tournament. In baseball, you got to keep your eye on the ball, especially if you're taking if you're batting. Your head's got to stay down with the ball when it comes in if you're going to be able to hit it. So I want to talk some about, I lift my eyes. Where are my eyes? Where am I looking to? And um, a couple of Sundays ago, I shared with you when I preached that my daughter had called me and often we talk and we talk about the Lord. And she said, oh, dad, you got to listen to this song. And so I pulled it up on YouTube and I encourage you to do the same thing. The song comes from Red Rocks Worship. Some of you are familiar with that. Red Rocks Worship. The song is called, I Will Look Up. I Will Look Up. So there was a particular line in the song that she really uh, pointed out to me, and she said it really was powerful. And uh, it's, I will look back. I'll look back, and I will see, God, that you are faithful. How many times have we done that in order to encourage ourselves right now in this moment of what we're going through, that we look back and we see that you are faithful? Then the next line says, but I will look ahead believing that you are able. Some of the words of the song to I will look up, some of the words are this, all the worries of this world, I will lay them at your feet. Surrender every anxious thought for perfect peace, your perfect peace. All the loved ones I hold dear, all my hopes and dreams and all my fears, I will choose to trust your name in everything, with everything. I will look up for there is none above you. I will bow down to tell you that I need you. I need you was the theme that we had during uh, Easter and during the uh, Lenten season as we made our way to Easter. I need you. That'll never change. I will bow down to tell you that I need you, Jesus, Lord of all. I will take you at your word, for Jesus, you have taken hold of me. All my life is in your hands. You are my strength. You are my strength. I will look up. For there is none above you, I will bow down to tell you that I need you. And then the line that my daughter Audra said, Dad, this is a powerful line. I will look up 
I will look back and see that you are faithful. I will look ahead believing that you are able. Prince of Peace, perfect healer, all my life, all my cares on you. King of Kings, mighty Savior, all my life and all my cares on you. I will look up. I don't know what you're going through right now. I know a lot of us are battling with the coronavirus and all of the difficulties that it's causing, the frustrations, but, and then there's the economic. Uh, we, our church has helped a lot of folks because of the economic impact. Um, but it doesn't matter if it was this time, this season of our life or another one, there are things that we face in this life, battles and frustrations and worries, concerns. Um, where, do, where do we look and who do we look to? The psalmist says, I will lift my eyes to the hill. And where comes my help? My help comes from the Lord. Um, there's a passage in John, the sixth chapter. Jesus in John, the sixth chapter, began to describe that he was the lamb that was going to be slain. He began to say things like, unless you eat my flesh, and unless you drink my blood, you have no part with me. You know, some of the people standing around thought, well, wait a minute. And so much so that many of them walked away. In John, the sixth chapter, it says that it is the spirit of the Lord, Jesus said, who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. And I quote this often, John 6, 63, the words that I speak to you are spirit and they're life. Jesus' word, the word of God, is, is spirit and it's life. That's why when we read the Bible, it reads us. It's the talking book. Jesus' words speak back to us. The words that I speak to you are spirit and life. But then Jesus said, but some of you do not believe this. I drop down in verse 66 of John 6, 6, and it says, from that time, many of his disciples went back and walked with him no more. Jesus turns around and he looks at the 12 disciples and he asks them point blank, do you also want to walk away? There are people who walk away from the Lord all the time. Jesus asks, do you want to walk away? Simon Peter made this statement, and it has been a verse that has helped my wife and I, Lana, get through some difficult times. Simon Peter said, Lord, to whom shall we go? In other words, who else are we going to look to? I don't want to look to anything else. I don't want to look to anybody else for my help. For whence cometh my help? My help comes with the Lord. I'm going to look to him. That's what Simon Peter's saying. Um, Lord, to whom shall we go? And he, he proclaimed that you have the words of eternal life. Also, we have come to believe and to know that you are the Christ, the son of the living God. That line that Audra shared with me, I go back and say it again. I'm going to look back and see that you are faithful but I'm going to look ahead believing that you are able. I quote this scripture also a whole lot, 2 Timothy 1.12. I quoted it for about 30 years. I get emotional every time I say it because it does something inside of me because the word is spirit and it is life. In 2 Timothy 1.12, Paul said, I know in whom I have believed and I am persuaded that God is able to keep that which I have committed unto him until that day. What are you committing to God? Who are you looking to? Hey, brothers and sisters, let's look to the Lord. From whence cometh my help? Praise God, my help, your help comes from the Lord, the one who created the heaven and the earth. I love you. Let's pray together. God, we love you today and praise you today. And we're going to look up today. We're going to look to you. We're going to do what the disciples said. To whom shall I go? Who else can we turn to, God? We're going to look to you. And so I thank you, God, for that line and that song, I will look up. I will, I will look up. Uh, I look back and I, I see that you have been faithful, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look forward believing that you are able. God, help us to do that today and uh, continue to bless all of those whom we love and care about. We especially lift up to you, the Bryson um, family, and ask you to touch their lives. Be with us all. Give us strength and courage and help us always to look up. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you. You have a golden day. Bye-bye.